we're here today at Soul Farm in Falmouth and we're here to help Lawrence today uh, on the farm. Here they produce lots of salads and vegetables for local restaurants and they're also starting a veg box subscription service. We're here on a beautiful October morning. The farm is looking so autumnal with the pumpkins and the orange flowers, the wonderful dew and that gorgeous sunrise. The farm is located in Falmouth right by the estuary. There's a beautiful mist along the water and you can see the water right from the farm. We're really excited to get our hands dirty and get stuck in. Um, yeah, so we're on South, we're in South Cornwall, um, just over the way from Falmouth. We're in a an estate. It's an old walled garden. Um, I think it's Victorian, maybe Georgian. Um, I need to get my history straight on that, but it hasn't been farmed since the war. Uh, started Soul Farm in my head years ago, <laughs> but um, in in reality, in this spot, um, it was this time last year. I've got this sort of line in my head that soil is the soul of our society. It kind of, the soil is what feeds us. Yeah. Um, and we've been misusing the soil for years and years and years. And we've just been taking from the soil and turning it into dirt essentially by plowing it. Right. And by actually sort of looking after the soil, um, you're, um, you know, giving it back its life, giving its, giving its soul. Um, it's got, you know, lots of things, and even this, which is just wood chippings, is just there's more microbes in that than you could ever imagine. That, that you know, it's just crazy how much life is in the soil. Um, but then, from a sort of customer's point of view as well, it's like buying into like food, which right is being looked after and good and, food, and good local, food and local, exactly. Cool spot you got here, isn't it? I like the uh, the walled garden feel to it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's yeah, it's very cool, isn't it? Yeah. Was this? I assume this was all part of that big houses. Yeah. Oh, is it? Is, is it still theirs? And you like you rent the yeah, field from them? Right. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. So these are like Japanese tomato <laughs> scissors. Hey, look at them. And you just put them on your finger like that, or like that. Yeah. So you can work pick individual ones, but then you can also snip. Um, so just snip it off and <laughs> pop them in. Do you like about it? Small, I'd rather I'd have a smaller scale, like a, it's a lot of work oh, this to is turn massive. something like this into a business, do you know what I mean? But but just for your own food? For yourself, it'd be great. Really cool. Day a week. Yeah, we could do something like this. Mm. It's really inspiring, isn't it? Yeah. We're here in grounds. There's a beautiful house and this used to be a walled garden and it's now home to Soul Farm. Today, we are helping Lawrence build a polytunnel. Thank you. 
I think there's room for lots more small farms. I think I think it's the future. Yeah. And they need to be everywhere. You know, once you connect with nature yourself for yourself, then it I think it spurs you on to then look more widely at how you affect nature. Therefore. Definitely. Um, you know, initially it's like oh look at those beautiful bluebells and you go and pick them and then you learn about bluebells and realise that you shouldn't pick them and then you know your knowledge kind of grows and then you you know it just expands out and right. out and we you know pick our salad at the right time of day so we always pack it before pick it before dawn um, uh, and then it gets washed straight away and so it's at its nicest flavour then and then you're capturing it at that point in time um, and then the other thing is that we um, uh, we don't have like fridges here or anything like that so we have to pick and then deliver and yeah. so the clients and the customers get it straight away so on instagram um soul.farm um website too soulfarm.co.uk and um uh, i'll be opening up um registration for boxes uh, for next spring um on, on on the website then um for anybody that's in the Falmouth and Truro area yeah. Thank you so much for having us today. We have no, absolutely no loved it. I'm sure you can tell how much we've got stuck in. We yeah. we love it, and yeah. I know we'll be back again yeah, um, no, to see throughout the the year all the different seasons. Yeah, please do. I can imagine it changes quite a lot here. So uh, yeah, it definitely does. And thanks so much for your help. No, um, that's fine. Yeah, definitely couldn't have done as much <laughs> without. It's brilliant. Polytunnel without, without your help. Yeah, Jim was in his element.